Hello. Um, salam alaikum. Um, the practitioner here. Um, agnostic. I wouldn't consider myself an atheist any more than I would consider myself religious. I'm still of the I don't know perspective. Um, anyway, uh, there were two things I wanted to mention. I l watched less than two minutes of your video, but uh, the very first things you said right off the bat were highly interesting. Uh, one of which is that you said you converted from secularism to uh, to Islam, and I I really am curious. Um, uh, I, I'm taking uh, wing off. Uh, I'm taking lead off somebody else's video, which uh, said they would not be converted away from atheism uh, unless um, the the atheists who other atheists who had converted to a religion. Uh, explained the logic and the evidence which brought them about to their uh, belief. So um, I'm curious. Um, I just, uh, I again, I, I I always assumed that the secularists were the hyper logical mindset. Um, so uh, now again, mind you, this is just a general standpoint. I'm an agnostic, and I'm not, so I wouldn't really know what secularists are fully thinking any more than Christians or or Muslims or Jews. You know, I, like I said, I really don't keep a mindset on that. But anyway. Uh, my question, again, like I said, I really am curious. So I'm curious as to what um, converted you away from secularism to Islam. Um, and if you could make a video response or even drop a couple of comments on this one uh, to kind of let me know. Uh, unless, of course, you've answered it in another video, at which point just uh, drop me a link to the uh, other video where uh, the name of the other video where you got it, and I'll check your username for it. Um, and the second thing which I wanted to mention was uh, the bit where you said that atheists and uh, homosexuals couldn't prove that incest is wrong. Well, I'm an agnostic, um, and actually, you know, you're probably, I don't know about the homosexuals not being able to prove it. Um, the atheists should be able to prove it if they have access to relatively good science, uh, to relatively good science, and there's one simple reason, um, you know, not counting uh, God saying that it's wrong or whatever, uh, you know. Uh, or, or any holy scripture saying that uh, incest is wrong. There was one simple reason why incest is a bad thing, and that's due to DNA. You need a much larger in order in order to be able to prevent um, in order to prevent mutations uh, harmful mutations from being able to uh, from coming in and uh, you know and, and threatening to kill your family off. You need a, a a larger gene you need a larger gene pool to be able to draw from in terms of well who you mate with. Now of course mind you we're talking about the the, the hypothetical uh, prospect of actually having children. Um, you know, the, the, the assuming that the, uh, the the people who were having incest were not using sexual protection and were having children from this, but again, let's just assume that the uh, that the incest is an ongoing relationship, which I assume it's going to be. Um, you know, uh, it's going to be a, a twist of, of, of something, you know, of, a, of, a, of an actual family uh, bond, and then it's going to be you know going like an ongoing relationship. So, let's just assume hypothetically they're not using protection. Well, if they're not using protection, then there are probabilities for genetic deficiency, uh, owing to the fact that uh, two people who are related and share about half the same DNA uh, can, you know, or, or like, ha you know, like I mean, like they are they are much more closely related than the rest of the human race, could end up uh, creating severe gen uh, genetic deformities, some of which could even kill off their own offspring. Um, examples of this, uh, where um, it's not strictly incest, but there is example of this lack of DNA, uh, of new DNA coming in, are the Amish. Um, communities in Canada and the United States uh, of um, people who, uh, these, are, uh, these are people who are highly Christian, um, you know, they, they're, they're, they're anti-technology, and they uh, live in little farm net communities by themselves trying to keep out of touch with the outside world. Well, um, What's interesting is the fact that when uh, doctors went and took a look at, uh, you know, at, at uh, you know, at their genetic base and what have you, uh, often uh, what was interesting is that uh, is that the evidence uh, f uh, found out anyway that they, they do go to hospitals, of course, for medical treatment and the like. But anyway, uh, the interesting bit is that uh, the Amish actually ended up having uh, a greater degree of diseases like sickle cell anemia, you know, life-threatening things starting to arise more because of the fact they just simply had a lack of a you know, a lack, a, a, a sufficient, a lack of sufficient diversity in the gene pool. You know, it, it uh, they, they became enclosed. Of course, eventually it was starting to, you know, have cousins marrying cousins and, you know, uh, you know, uh, and I mean, second cousins are borderline, 20th cousins, well, that's kind of far enough of a relation off, but, you, you know, but I mean, but the thing is, anytime you start getting the close to second or first cousins uh, or anything closer to that, you're starting to worry, you're starting to deal with that gene dabbling. Um, and I mean, uh, actually, another prominent example 
um, which I don't think I need to, uh, which would actually be more of a, uh, would be a much better example of what actually would be considered uh, inbreeding or incest, is the, uh, the uh, royalty of Europe during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Remember that, uh, that all the royal families of Germany, France, Brit, England, Russia, um, you know, like all the great powers in, Engl in, in Europe were all related to each other. Um, and the reason they were all related to each other was because they all intermarried. They never allowed any nobility from lower classes in, and they generally, uh, you know, beyond the lower level of Duke, and they certainly never allowed any commoners to be married into the family. Well, as a result, since uh, only royals were breeding with royals or what have you, it ended up meaning that everybody was everybody else's cousin. And eventually, um, things got so bad that when, uh, you know, that when cousins started marrying cousins and the like, um, the, uh, the Tsarist family of Russia, the Romanovs, after about 10 generations of this, developed a really bad stream of hemophilia. Um, this is a uh, disease where um, uh, there are no platelets in the blood, so if you get like even the slightest nick, you will bleed to death. And the thing, of course, is those, of course, as you know, this is life-threatening. Um, I mean, even the slightest nosebleed will kill a hemophiliac if, if there's nothing to be done. Well, I mean, now we have modern technology to take care of that. But back uh, just before the uh, just before World War One, and you know, just after the turn of the century, this was serious enough that a uh, that when a um, that when a particular um, holy man, uh, well, actually, who turned out to be a fraud, uh, was able to hypnotize the czar's son into bypassing. Uh, his circulation out of his nose, which caused his nose to go slightly gangrenous, of course, due to lack of blood. Um, well, when uh, you know, or well, until the skin itself eventually healed, you know, uh, you know, at least it was temporary, and then eventually things went back. But the problem was, though, is that again, when they did it, he was able to convince them that he was a holy man, but it only worked temporarily, of course, because as you know, nosebleeds, of course, are going to be prone, and if you're nosebleed prone and you're a hemophiliac, you know, well, anyway. Thankfully, that particular uh, uh, last member of the royal family uh, got shot before he ended up dying from a uh, something as painful as hemophilia. So, but anyway, uh, that's another uh, that's another example right there. Um, the stereotype about rednecks uh, being uh, stupid, um, you know, or being like that. Well, isn't it interesting that the two most major stereotypes pertaining to rednecks and to uh, Hicks and people like that is that they're both inbred and that they are stupid. Have you noticed about how those two uh, those two stereotypes always seem to go together? Well, it's, pro it's probably more than likely that um, if a group, and th this is probably based on, and again, this is probably true, truly also based on actual science too. I mean, um, the royal families also were uh, showed lack of intelligence in large chunks of areas. Uh, uh, Ru uh, Tsar Nicholas II of Russia, the last Tsar of Russia, was a prominent example of this. You know, after several generations of inbreeding with various other cousins of Europe, uh, most of the royal families had all gone. Uh, Cuckoo. I think Britain was the one exception to that, but um, I mean, even they started to get it. I mean, Queen Elizabeth now, uh, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles, they aren't all there. Anyway, you get my idea. Um, the reason why those two are so close together in terms of stereotypes is probably because of the fact that one of them does lead to the other in some circumstances. Anyway, uh, so I think that pretty well covers it. Uh, it is possible from a secularist standpoint to prove that incest is wrong. Um, to prove, uh, based on, uh, sure, uh, sure, uh, surely, uh, based on DNA. Now, at some future point, if we were able to map the genome sufficiently well, that, uh, that two members of their own family could, uh, the two members of a family could, uh, you know, get a complete, uh, check of their genome and be able to take out all the possible bad genes which might be reacting, uh, incorrectly or reduce it to the point where the cases are rare, then it might, then the morality might change on that a little bit. But until then, which will probably be like not for a few hundred, maybe even a few thousand years yet, considering our current uh, level of DNA technology, um, at least for the first next few hundred years, morality is still going, uh, incest, incest is still going to be wrong and immoral, purely based on that DNA standpoint alone. Anyway, uh, that's just my thoughts on stuff. And uh, again, do drop uh, comments uh, on this video referring to the, uh, your other videos for your, my question. Or if not, just make another video response and cover it or drop me another comment. Your choice. Um, Masalema, uh, inshallah, Allah, um, you know, Allah be with you, um, inshallah, and um, I'll see you later. Masalema.